we're going to reintroduce you or introduce you to a young Bay Area singer and composer, Jamie Z, after we hear some music. She definitely flows my way And I want to tell her that I love her
I love I love the Bay Area vibe on this. It's just such a great uh, wall of sound. Uh, Jamie Z is here. Uh, that's Jamie's tune, Flow. Fabulous. Welcome. Welcome. I'm so glad you came, could come in today. How Thank was, you. How was the traffic? It wasn't too bad. <laughs> I know. I always say, somebody <laughs> goes, can we can we just do a phone interview? I just don't want to come out there. But I like to sit and, you know, yeah. eyeball people and see <laughs> if they're if they're for real. You grew up here in the Bay Area. Yeah. You went to Soda. You went yep. to, uh, uh, and you're a youngster still, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did you always know you were going to be doing this? I think that I definitely knew that I had a fond appreciation for the arts. Um, my father, he did visual arts, and so that was something that uh-huh. I kind of connected to. Yeah. So, you know, he, he taught me how to color outside the lines. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. We have a lot of uh, really great singers, songwriter, composers uh, coming up now. Uh, in your Z generation, <laughs> uh, my kids are 18-year-olds. And they're kind of going that way into music too, and so uh, uh, did you. Did you hook up with anybody at Soda that sort of was speaking your language and you know your tribe? You found your tribe. Yeah, at Soda? I guess Soda was like an incubation period mm-hmm. for me. It was the time for me to realize that jazz is something that I had um, an affinity towards, mm-hmm. and. It wasn't until, I think, my sophomore year of high school mm-hmm. that I actually found the jazz department. And ah. and it wasn't even like a department yet. It was just this rinky-dink little class that happened in the in the really run-down cafeteria. Uh-huh. I've was... been up to Soda. I know. I know. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I know what so it you looks know. like. Exactly. Was Malaysia Magdaluyo there? Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. actually the one who kind of gave me my first song. Mm. It was totally in the... I sang it in the wrong key. I, it was like this total like wreck, but it was really nice to be introduced to this this um, genre of music. It was like mm-hmm. it had kind of been conveyed to me before when I was younger. I had studied musical theater, yeah. and by the time I was twelve, I had like thirty Cole Porter songs inside of my body. <laughs> it was just this. Woo. <laughs> yeah, li- living inside of you yeah. already. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Who are the other uh, composers that you like? Too? I, and even modern yeah, composers. Yeah. Totally. Um, I really, really love Duke Ellington. Mm. I go out and collect his records of his suites that he has. Um, and I just love listening to that big band sound. Um, other composers I like. Uh, Lori Anderson. Mm, there we go. Now we're going your direction. Yeah. <laughs> um, some newer people, some some songwriters that I'm really fond of right now, um, like Callie Uchis. She's, she's this American Colombian singer that oh, I've yeah. been following for the past I don't know how many years, but she's just inspired me so much. And yeah. Um, yeah, there's a lot of local talent that I'm just absorbing. Like you know, of course, John Santos and John Calloway. Calloway's um, a big course. mentor of yours. You're huge, yeah. Yeah, aren't you? You're kind of doing. You're the vocal coach for like his Latin jazz ensemble. Yeah, right? I'm yeah? the assistant director of the vocal um, department of the LJYE. Oh, wonderful! Yeah. Oh, that's fabulous. Let's set up one of these tunes. Your yeah. EP is eight. There's going to be eight tunes. There's eight songs on the EP, including uh, a suite that you've written. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, there's a little. I guess I, you could say promo. My little. Uh, my little teaser for the first <laughs> bit of the suite. Um, it's based on Back to the Future, the movie, part two. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, let's hear that and come back and uh, talk some more with uh, Jamie Z. <laughs> Thank you. 
I guess you can't ever break up with Joe now because oh, no. you, you, you wrote him a song. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the whole thing. Jamie Z <laughs> is here. You did uh, Jazz Search West. I did. Talk about you won it a mm-hmm. couple of years ago. Tell tell me about that. Yeah, it was an interesting journey. Um, <laughs> uh oh, what does Uh-oh. that mean? <laughs> uh, you know, it's just one of those things where, as a vocalist, I think everyone says to you, you should try out for. American Idol or oh, yeah, of course. that kind of stuff. Of course. And you're just, you try to take it like with like a grain of salt, yeah. but then you're like, well, I actually might need to do this. It yeah. might affect yeah. me in some way. Yeah. And it actually has. It was. Well, it does. It, yeah. it, it gives you a lot more discipline and mm-hmm. because you're, you're going for a yeah. goal. It's a contest are kind of anathema to like yeah. jazz singing <laughs> to me anyway. You know, anytime I ask a, you know, someone who's won the Thelonious Monk, yes. you know, vocal competition, they're like, God, I hated it. It was just yeah. awful. It's just so outside of, like, who they are, yep. you know. But it does teach you a different thing. It does. It teaches you how to feed your audience when you need to. An entertainer. They, and, and an you, entertainer. And yeah, makes exactly. you, you know, you know, you're comfortable talking in front of a group and about mm-hmm. the music and being funny and, you know. And just, like, being a personality, I think, is without one I, I don't think that they are so much interested in you I mm-hmm. you know I've had people who've done like the American Idol thing the the voice and they were booted because they did not look the part oh. or they didn't have the story the yeah yeah you have to have a story yeah, yeah. well you have a you have a great story you have a great <laughs> story uh Chinese American mm-hmm. LGBTQ community how much of that upbringing yeah. in, informs your music and your writing. I think it informs all of it. <laughs> <laughs> of course, because we are who we are. Yeah. Right. As a mixed person of half and half, I kind of get split down the line a lot. Mm-hmm. People are like, well, you're not Chinese looking enough to where we can assume mm-hmm. these things about you 
but there's also a huge amount of privilege that I have as being passing. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I, I do have this great amount of thankfulness towards the amount of privilege that I have. I know that that's something that is, has like helped me along and mm -hmm. that's not necessarily something that other people are allowed. So it, it kind of divides, it divides us in this way that's not beneficial towards music yeah. making or society. And I know. One would think, one would think we're beyond like this whole passing, yeah. judging mm -hmm. crap that's going yeah. on, but we're not past yeah, it. You know, we have to fight it every day yeah. and to be present every day. Yeah. With I, it. I find myself in these environments where I'm just like surrounded by only men, usually mm. white males. Mm. And it's this, it becomes this environment of, kind of a little masculine toxic like toxicness yes yeah. it, it's not something that i don't I, I don't think that anyone necessarily tries to create it it just happens it on just its happens. own it just it's like it's weird it's like you can feel it it's uh -huh. it's sticky it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's sticky that's a good that's a good way to put it any thoughts of going outside of the bay area because this is a very a very conducive home yeah. for you i think I mean, I mean, you want to go down to L.A. Yeah. and get in that scene or. You yeah, know. I think, you know, the people who have been raising me um, in this scene, they they have been doing such a good job, like mm -hmm. helping me promote my music, helping me promote my my messages that I want to convey. Um, so I have been kind of living here in a comfortable little bubble that right. we are in. They tell you you need to yeah. if you get too soft, you totally. know. You got to get out. Yeah, there's the good sides to being here. Like there's a lot of stuff going on with like, you know, Marcus Shelby who I work with. Mm -hmm. He's able to use um these foundations that support him that uh, so that he can create all these great projects. And so that's yeah. something that I'm kind of interested in. But maybe in a later part of my life, I do definitely want to explore L.A., mm -hmm. New York, go upstate, go, you know, any, I want to go everywhere. It's Go to Europe. That's yeah, my dream. Yeah, that, isn't yeah. that anyone's, any, everyone's dream, dream yeah. to go touring and struggle a little bit <laughs> where you're not Or struggle familiar. a lot. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> struggle a lot. Let's go out with one more. Um, this first one on here, and I don't remember what I put down. Uh, for this. Oh, uh, it's okay. Oh, the, can I talk about that last one? That yeah, just, would you? Yeah, so that last one was... Oh, and talk about the band. I oh, keep forgetting yes, to ask you about yes. the band. So the band, my beautiful band. I'm <laughs> so appreciative of every single person who was on this project. Um, on drums, we have Alex Shapiro. On bass, we have William Bohr. On guitar, we have Max Brody. On keys, we have Julian Lopez, and mm. on saxophone, as well as um, producer, uh, is Madison Bohr. Yeah. Uh huh. All in we the family. The, <laughs> yeah, right. The the Bohr the Bohr brothers, Will and Madison. Yeah. They've been really um, helpful in this whole project and kind of pushing me along. I've just had so many moments where I'm just like, I don't know if I want to put this out. I don't know <laughs> if it's good enough. And yeah, and I'll tell you, when we were playing it, uh, she's thinking, oh, wait a minute, does, that doesn't sound quite right. Uh, it's the wrong pitch, and oh my God, I'm, you know, are, are you hypercritical? I'm absolutely so hypercritical. I'm kind of loving it, though, just, you know, the first time I actually went to a recording studio, it was for when I was in the SF Jazz High School All-Stars. Mm -hmm. Um, I was in there for three years, and my first year we did a recording project at Jingle Town in Oakland. Oh, yeah. And I had never heard my voice in a room full of people before. Through speakers? Through or, speakers, yeah. through a system running. Yeah. <laughs> I had no clue what it would feel like to absorb back my sound. I well, guess what happened? <laughs> you cried. I did. <laughs> That's exactly I, what happened. I, 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 that kind of <laughs> happened to me when I was first yeah. doing radio. That's oh right. My God. You know, it's like I would hear myself back and go, oh, no. Oh. I thought, oh, I have so much to do. Yeah. You know, you're, you're listening back and thinking, I have so much to do. But then yes. you're, young. you're younger yeah. then. You'll, it, you'll look back at this and go, wow. Yes. I learned leaps and bounds. Absolutely. I, I remember being, I think I was like 10 years old. I had found this little home studio, recording studio, 
and I jumped in there, played the worst song ever to karaoke over. And I think I spent like eight hours in that studio. <laughs> and by the end of the day, someone came in there like, you have to leave now. <laughs> I know. I used to do that too, you know, practice room pianos, you know, and just yeah. sit there for six, seven, eight hours. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what I did. In college, you know? <laughs> and they're like, you're not going to get any better. <laughs> yeah, <really? laughs> that's not true. You will get better. You have to put in your 10,000 hours. See, that's oh, the yeah. whole thing. So. <laughs> Jamie Z is here. Uh, oh, talk about that last tune. Joe, yeah. we were going to get to that. So this tune I actually wrote um, at the jazz school where I attend right now yeah. um, at their degree program. It is a contrafact that I wrote um, originally. It was a it's dearly beloved. Oh, you know that that's song? great. Yeah. Yeah. Da, 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 yeah. Yeah. Dearly beloved. I love that song so much. Nancy Wilson's rendition of it just mm -hmm. kills me. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And I was kind of looking for something that was pretty, s not simple, but harmonically relatable mm -hmm. to what I'm, what I was looking for. And it just came out naturally, the the lyrics and the and the melody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all it's the story is actually based on completely factual events. Although it sounds so cheesy, <laughs> you know, using all these words like fireside, embers. Yeah, yeah really. It's <laughs> like I was like, oh my goodness, like I didn't know that I had this in me. <laughs> I think it's the cold porter. Yeah, you have a cheesy side. Is that it? I do. You do? <laughs> well, it's uh, good the, to be well-rounded that the way. The nerdy, cheesy side. Yeah, we were talking about sci-fi uh, off mic because you're, you're a big Trekkie uh, Oh, big Trekkie, yeah. yes. Oh, Jamie Lee. This was, Jamie Z, this was great. I'm so glad you came in. You got my middle you. name right. Jamie Leezy. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> it's a secret. Nobody knows that. <laughs> Uh, see, you know, we were, we were, I'm, I'm, you know, I have ESP and you so it's really ESP. easy for me to do that. So, <laughs> so I'm going to go out with this uh, first tune on here and I don't remember which one it, did you just we'll describe it? We'll see what it is. Yeah, we'll see what it is. Yeah. And we'll, we'll look for your uh, EP to oh, drop yeah. at the end of this month. Yeah, is May right? 30th on my birthday. Oh, how exciting. Happy birthday. You're going to be Thank 21. <laughs> <laughs> look out, folks. <laughs> Joe, you better be careful because you know once she hits twenty one, it's it's all, it's all downhill after that. So. <laughs>